welcome to this tutorial how to create a CBOT character. To start off, you should start off with a CBOT character already drawn, which I have here. Now you probably want to color and make it look nice, so we're going to import them to Illustrator. So here we are in Illustrator. You go to File, Place. We go to Image. and I get this image vectorized, you click on the image and you press live trace not to on big the image, it might take longer or shorter nah, it looks pretty good, it, the lines are really clean but let's just say that you have a line or two missed out of place you go here on the tracing options press preview so you can see what you do And then but since my guy is already good, we're not gonna bother this. Now then here you will press expand, which will actually create paths throughout all the lines of the character. Let's just delete the background, we don't need it. Now you probably want to uh, color in this character or define the lines more. So you go here, strokes. Let's make it black. One point's fine. Now it looks more defined. Now you probably want to color them in. So we're going to create a live paint object here. Now this will actually let you color them in through spaces and it's actually very easy to use very user friendly so now that we have the spaces already here let's start coloring them in so I'll start with the blues and then from here We'll do the metallic. So we'll go to gradient. And let's just make it a little more metallic here. And then the blacks. Hold it, forgot the little space right there. And then the blues for its eyes, the light blues. And you know what, I want to give the eyes a little more personality. So let's just create these little circles. Make it a lighter blue. A little bit lighter than that. Let's put it right there. It's already coming together. Now, if you're not too happy with a few things, for example, I'm not too happy with these lines up here. I could always pick out whichever I want since I made all the lines here vectorized and just delete. So I'll delete this. I'm going to do it a few times. Now for the pieces in the bottom, like this little strip I don't like, since the pieces are vectorized, I can just go and erase them. So I'll go here, erase, and just erase these little pieces here.
kind of want to make this as straight as possible. Oh, there you go. Then you can just put it in the corner here. It's, oh, forgot to pick the eyes. And I I'm do a little bit more than I wanted. Go here, there. Stretch them out a bit. Alright, so now you want to create a nice background for it. Since he's blue, we should do a background that's like orange. So let's create a different layer, put it in the back. And, you know, maybe not something too hard, a simple gradient will do. Put it here. Give it a fill. Let's make it. Then you like what you see, put it here, save as, desktop, just put it on desktop, and save the image, or you can just export it as a JPEG here, which I'm just going to do, name on CBOT. save and then do you want this really nice put progressive scans five times def high these settings will definitely will will optimize it for its maximum quality for the image press ok and minimize it and click on and there he is Thank you for joining me in this tutorial and next time I'll show you something else that's nifty and cool.